I had a pellet stove failure this morning and it was kind of interesting because it was a textbook example of how to properly troubleshoot something. I got up this morning, it was a relatively warm morning for this time of the year, it's around 55 degrees, but with the way this room is, that's cold enough to have the stove on. So I had the stove on, and uh, when I get up here in the morning, I usually come into this room to eat because it's warmer in here. But before that, sometimes if the weather is nice like it was this morning, I like to go out and walk around the yard and maybe up and down the street sometimes. So I went outside this morning and, and then I came back in and I opened the door to the living room. I was coming in that door over there. I opened that door and as I'm passing through the threshold of the door, I looked over here at the pellet stove which was operating normally. And in the moment that I was looking at it, for like the two seconds I was looking at it, a small explosion took place inside the burn pit. Which is super bizarre because there's really nothing in there to explode. There's no gas, there's no fumes. So it, ex it explodes, it makes a horrible electric sound. There's sparks shooting everywhere and then the whole thing stops. My first thought was the combustion blower went out because I know that motor is, is on its way out. You can hear it. It's got, it sounds like it's got rocks and it. it's been in there for probably 10 or 15 years. It's got to be towards the end of its useful life. I have a spare sitting behind the unit. That was my first thought, but then after a couple seconds I said, no, that couldn't be because the, the blower is isolated from the chamber. There's no way that if the motor was exploding that it would have sent sparks into the into the uh, the unit the way it did it came out of the burn pit for sure and then I noticed that the ceiling fan was stopping as well so at that point it seemed like the whole the whole room here lost power so I unplugged the stove I turned the breaker back on and since the stove had an active flame in it I wanted to get the combustion blower back on because that's a CO2 issue at that point so I turned everything else off uh, I turn the blower, the heat exchanger blower off, and I turn the feed off so it's not going to try to keep the fire going. And I plug it in, and because it was still hot, it would have turned the blower on anyways, even though it was off. And so I plug it in, the blower comes on, operates normally, no problem. I turn the, the uh, heat exchanger fan on, that comes on, no problem. So it wasn't the fans. So then my next thought is it has to be the glow plug in there that will light the unit when it first comes on. So uh, this is where it gets interesting because I got lucky this time because I saw it happen. You know, very rarely do you repair something and have a working knowledge of what happened when it broke. I knew that something else was wrong. Well, obviously, of course, the glow plug is shot. I don't know if, if it's grounded, it went to earth, or whatever it did. I haven't actually looked at it yet. Uh, but I knew that something happened to the glow plug, and that was, that was gone. But I knew because it happened when the glow plug should not have been running, I knew that there was something else wrong. And it turned out that, looked into it a little bit deeper, and the thermal switch that turns the glow plug off after the flame is present had failed shut and so now the glow plug was just on indefinitely I had turned the stove off the day prior and I put it back on before I went to sleep so at this point it had been running maybe uh, 10 or 12 hours and quite possibly the glow plug was on for the whole time and since the glow plug is designed for momentary operation and not continuous operation it eventually overheated and had a catastrophic failure which somehow it happened to fail in the couple seconds I was looking at the machine this morning so the takeaway here is that when you troubleshoot something you can't look at the manifestation of of the of the issue right because a lot of techs would have come in here and said 
oh, your stove doesn't start up, the glow plug is bad. They would have changed out the plug, and the fire would have come on, they would have left, and it would have been a callback because the glow plug would eventually fail again, probably within 24 hours. So when you troubleshoot something, you can't look at the manifestation of the problem. You have to look at the source of the problem. Why did this happen? Why did the glow plug fail? Yes, the glow plug is now bad, but the reason it failed is because something else failed. And that's often the case. And it's very important to be aware of that when you're working with equipment and you have to be a detective to figure out what happened before you got to the machine.